yourself. So you come away with the victory, which obviously you're anticipating. Where does he rank in terms of your wins? Um, my wins, they'd probably be like Deontay Wilder, then Klitschko, then Derek Chisora, and then probably Otto Walling, and then I would say him. Oh no, Steve Cunningham. Well, I hate to say it, Tyson Fury was pretty much white when it came to dealing white. He might have been like his fifth or sixth, maybe even seventh, toughest fight. At the end of the day, Tyson Fury made quick work of Dillian White. Um, actually, the fight, the fight was uh, it was it was rather boring to be honest with you. Tyson did us a huge favor and got him out of there when he did because, you know, Dillian was just so short compared to Tyson. He just had he had no plan on getting to the inside or how to get on the inside. And it, it made it a, a very boring fight. In fact, um, really, Ty Tyson could have could have um, could have beat the crap out of this dude if he really wanted to. He he was you could tell he was waiting. He was trying to set him up, and he was he was being a little cautious with dealing. He he probably fought more defensively than he did in the last two fights he had with Wilder, but. Um, he was waiting on the right moment to drop the boom on him. And Dillian helped him out because he, he basically walked into it. But that was because Dillian had such a hard time getting inside on Tyson. Which was funny because it's not like Tyson wore him out with a jab or anything like that. He just had a hard time getting inside. And when he finally did, when Tyson let him walk in, he just boom, he hit him with a boom. A nice big uppercut and got him out of there. Um... But I will say, you know, I give Dillian White his, you know, his due. He tried, uh, but he just, he really didn't have much of a game plan as far as how he was going to get inside. He didn't double up on his jab or triple up on his jab or nothing like that. He stood straight up basically the entire time outside of when he was trying to go to Fury's body. And uh, it was just, it was a mismatch. And that's that's basically the only thing you can you can really say. It was a, it was a mismatch, and um, he spared us a boring fight because that's what it was. It was an extremely boring fight, and I'm not blaming Tyson Fury for that. It's just the matchup because of his height and his length. It was Dillian was only gonna manage to hit him a couple times around, and he could take his time. Uh, it got a little rough at times with the elbows and stuff like that, but that was about it. I mean, it really ain't much else to say except for uh, what does this do for Tyson Fury's legacy and will he fight again. According to him, this is it. We will not be seeing Tyson Fury again. According to what he said, uh, we won't be seeing a Fury versus uh, Usyk. We won't be getting a Fury versus, uh, versus AJ. This is it. So... Um, that's pretty much all I got. This hair busting box is on. Fight Doctor, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know where do you place Tyson Fury in history? Because really, that's the only thing else to ask. Do you put him up there with the grace? Because according to him, he ain't coming back. So that's his resume. It's time to start looking at where we're going to place him historically. And uh, I'd like to hear what you got to say about that. In the comment section. And that's pretty much all I got. This hair busting boxes on Fight Dr. I am out.